Hello, it's Char. And, and Carolyn. Oh, Carolyn, you're not obviously ready for this call, are you? Well, sure I am. What's the problem? Hmm, what might be the problem? Oh, you think I need a shirt? Most people wear them. Oh, well, okay, all right, I guess I can do that, but <laughs> kind of thought I'd be okay without one, but all right, if you're going to be like that, there you go. I got a shirt on. All right, so we are the most fun stylists on the internet. And I think we proved it to you today. <laughs> In our opinion. Yeah. All right. So what we so, thought we'd talk a little bit about is um, all of us talking like Carolyn and I are doing right now, where we're not in the same room, we're using technology to have a meeting. And what do you need to do to make sure that you look your best for a meeting like this when you're not necessarily going to work, you want to be comfortable and you're maybe wearing your PJs, um, but you also want to have a professional look when you're doing a work meeting. Do you have any I think tips? That's important. Do you have any tips? I do. Actually, I would start out first by saying, keep things simple, no fuss, not a, not a messy, you know, what you're wearing needs to be simple because you don't want to distract from the message that you are being able to uh, get out there. And um, make sure that your fabric, what you're wearing, isn't all wrinkly. You want to make sure that it looks good. It's a streamlined fabric. Monochromatic is terrific. Dark colors rich tones, a rich blue, a rich color that's complimentary to you helps a lot. Uh, gray blue looks, looks good. great on you, by the way. Blue is a great color. Blue, This blue is great on everybody. Um, remember what I did to you on one of the videos. Remember you put the black on and then put this on? Yeah. Um, and then I also think you have to make sure that what you have on fits your body. So even elastic waistbands, I know that sounds silly because nobody can see my waistband right now, but if you're not comfortable, people know that. So those great. are my first things is starting out with a great base outfit. Um, and then how about things to avoid? Do you have that? Um, I do. And, I, you know, I was just really thinking, too. I mean, I literally with my job that my my other job, not my style job, I'm yeah. on Zoom. I feel like six hours a day. And I started to actually get dressed like I would be going to work more. And that makes me feel better. And I think it makes me stay in that professional state of mind. Yeah. Good idea. So anyway, um, what to avoid? You want to avoid busy prints. Um, sometimes they can actually be distracting or the camera can even kind of make them fuzzy or funny. You want to, like she said, be comfortable. So don't have stiff fabrics that are not going to stay in place where you want them. Um, actually, I thought this was interesting. Um, some colors like green and yellow can actually make you a little get look a little bit washed out. And so you might want to avoid those kinds of colors, especially when you're um, also kind of dealing with uh, cameras and un not perfect lighting, right? Right. And then you just want comfortable clothes because, like you said, if people can um, tell you're uncomfortable, they can actually sense that. That's very true. I think basically the idea is, like Char said, to wear a great outfit, even though people are only seeing from here up. You want to be beautiful. You want to look chic. You want to look pulled together. And, and you want an outfit that's flattering. Even if people aren't seeing everything, you want to be able to show something that looks good on you. Yeah, so we hope you um, found these tips really helpful as you think about how to show up for your work right now.